Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. The early indications of Omicron are that it is more transmissible but potentially leads to less serious illness than mm -hmm. other variants. Mm -hmm. I understand that would be the normal progress of a virus. Variants will continue to appear year after year. When is the government going to accept that learning to live with COVID, which we all have to do, means we will almost certainly have an annual vaccine and that we cannot respond to new variants by stopping and starting sectors of our economy, which leads to businesses going under and jobs being lost? Madam Deputy, I think my right honourable friend makes a, a very important set of points. And, and, and first of all, I, I think she's right about the early data, what it suggests about transmissibility. We are certainly uh, seeing that here in the UK and from the reports we're seeing from our friends across the world. In terms of the severity of this, uh, I, I think we shouldn't jump to any conclusion. We just don't have enough data. So the most of the data that is available at this point in time is coming from South Africa. That's where most of the world's cases are. And it is important, I think, to remember that it's a younger population and that they also in South Africa had the beta wave and beta as a variant is much closer uh, to, to, um, uh, to this variant, uh, the, uh, the Omicron variant. So whilst it's quite possible there will be a difference in sort of clinical outcome from infection, uh, I, I think it's too early to jump to conclusions. Uh, but she is right about her final point. Of course, we have to live to learn with this virus. Uh, it is not going away, as my right honourable friend uh, says, for, for many, many years. And uh, perhaps it will lead to annual vaccinations. Uh, but uh, we have to uh, find ways to continue with life as normal.